Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, yo, what's up everyone? We're live. How's your day been? You having a good day? So tonight, while I eat my dinner, um, we're going to be designing an overlay on uh, on KeyTime on Apple for a video project. I had a video conference with Tyrone last night and he uh, he was kind enough to send me a copy of his footage and I sent him a copy of mine so we can both each make a uh, video and content from it. However, before I put it into the editor, I'd like to make an overlay where you can see both uh, both Tyrone and myself and uh, still have a bit of display screen and area left. So I'm just going to have another bite then I'll start Facebook Live and yeah. I've got no one watching a live stream. Alright. Yo, what's up, Facebook? I've still got no one on Instagram, but hopefully someone will follow me soon. So, hi, Facebook. This evening we are creating an overlaying keynote for a, uh, a video that I created with Tyrone. So, um, let's get into it. The first thing. Oh, let me start uh, quick time start screen recording so okay there we go we're recording now so uh, yeah the video files we've got two video files that we want to display on a single screen for YouTube now I've googled some ideas and some inspiration uh, so we've got these sorts of overlays which people would normally use for Twitch or uh, their online gaming or streaming. Uh, as you can see this one here, they've got the example on the, on the right that's enlarged of the username and uh, the two players that are obviously playing. There's a couple more examples down the bottom there. So there's some ideas of what we're looking for. And then I saw these ones as well. Uh, these are from some stock media sites and uh, they they're probably a bit better balanced in the sense that they've got uh, two even monitors, but there's still a lot of screen room there that's being left uh, unused. So the first thing we need to do is uh, once we've, oh, second thing we need to do once we've sort of got an idea of what we want to, uh, oh, let me fix up that camera, of what we want to uh, make our overlay look like, we're then going to get some assets for our overlay. Uh, to do this, we're going to use our uh, high clip art and we're just going to search for some overlays that we can use. So I've googled a couple here already. Oh, we've got an iMac there. Galaxy. I like some of these, but they're not really what I'm looking for. We've got liquid crystal displays. Um, there's none there that I really like. Um, Let's have a look what else we've got here. We've got a couple more. I mean, these are okay, but they're not really gonna fit the screen really well. And they don't give me a lot of uh, customization in the sense that I've got a fixed uh, border area to which to fill the frame. Um, but let's go to overlays and see if we can't, oh, we've got some interesting stuff here. So maybe something like a screen overlay, or a, a gaming overlay, or a border. Let's go previous page. I think I might have seen some here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So these are looking good. So I like this blue one. We're going to open that up and maybe download that if we can. I like that sort of design there, but I don't know what I'd put in the corner. I could maybe put our names and... Uh, our, uh, I guess, not hashtags, um, our uh, social media sort of uh, links and what, see that's a great frame to use there. Okay, what else we got? Oh, 
Yeah, we've got some cool ones here. Okay, these I like because, yeah, they've actually got their social media handles. Handles, that's it, social media handles. Oh, here we go. Okay, boom. We just found something. There we go. We're on. It's on like Donkey Kong. That's a good one. That's a good one. We'll open those up. Um, okay, that's another good one, but I don't. Oh, check out the Sonic one there. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, yeah, I think we've got a couple of examples open already that we can maybe use. Now, I won't be modifying these too much in the... Um, yeah, see, that's a pretty good one there. That in two colours would be fantastic, and I think we already have that. Ooh, that one there, we could have a split screen, one on one side, but... Uh, let's have a look here. What else? We'll just go through a couple more, see if we can't find anything that may be suitable. Um, no, I think we've pretty much got... Unless I'm using the incorrect search term. Let's try that. Let's see what search terms they've got. UI. So it's under UI or stream. Um, let's try stream. So we'll save these two just in case. Uh, download the original of that. So hi, Clipart. Great site to get all your uh, royalty-free, license-free artwork and assets for your graphics projects. Um, so I'll just create a folder here. And we'll call this U, um, artwork. There we go. We want to try and keep our workflow as organized as possible. We'll call this purple uh, uh, screen. There we go. It's a PNG, so it's going to save transparent. Um, and we've got a blue one there. That's right. So I want to get those two colors. I do like that green. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, that yellow and green. Yeah, I do like that yellow and green one, but we'll just keep that open for a sec. Uh, this one is going to be blue screen. Okay. And yes, don't worry everyone, we've got uh, royalty free, license free cafe music playing in the background so where was the where were those other purple blue um i, I don't know if it was oh, there we go ui so oh uh, yeah no yeah this is going to be all yeah that's probably better stream was better a better search term see i really like that blue one there and i like that one there but we might have to bring in some other elements uh from something else uh, and these I guess I could flip around, but then I just need a background for them. Um, you know what? That's that's good, I think. I think we're good there. We're good there. Um, Alright, so we've got the, uh, the blue and the purple one. So we're going to open Keynote now. We're going to create a new document in Keynote. We're going to make it widescreen. Okay, fit that to page. So I'm using Apple Keynote because one, I'm using an Apple, two, great piece of free software and it can pretty much do everything, all the basics that you need for something like this. Now we'll get rid of that text. Uh, we don't care about that. We want to make the background green so we can use some sort of uh, uh, Kia filter or uh, yeah, Kia filter. A, a, a Kia will enable the background that's green to become um, transparent. So we can then add extra layers and whatnot. Uh, we'll import the media that we need. So we'll go to uh, the assets we've just downloaded. Um, projects, Tyrone Video Core. I'm not too bad with my workflow. I keep it fairly tidy. Um, there we go. What have we got when we import these two? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty basic, aren't they? Can we flip one of these? Um, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we want to flip them the other way. So what we're building here is the uh, the, uh, the final overlay. That's looking a bit better. Okay. Now, well, what size can we get these two where they're not um, conflicting with each other? And of course, taking up enough. See, we want to fit them so that we can get enough of the uh, both video streams without ruining the uh, the viewing experience for the audience. Um, 
there, so that one's not centered. So, so what do we got there? Uh, that's how. What are the sizes? So it's um, 680 tall. Well, 680 in height. Make that 680 in height, and these should then be the same. There we go. Okay, so now we'll center both of these. Now we're keeping the area at the back green uh, for the fact that we're going to have probably some sort of motion background there and of course the center frames are where each video is going to sit. We've then got a panel there to show uh, our social media tags and we might be able to pop a title down the bottom in, uh, in post. So that's pretty good there. I think we will um, we'll export that. So we're going to export that as an image, of course as a PDF to keep the transparency, or a PNG, sorry. Um, okay, that's exporting. We'll put that in there as our overlay. And so while it's quite basic now, we will add more in in the editor. Now I'm probably going to add in some moving. Uh, uh, social media tags here because I've got that as a title extension in the uh, in the editor so we'll open up the editor and we can close our let's save this job actually uh, save as just in case we want to add a couple more things in uh, save it as the overlay overlay version one okay fantastic now we may actually make a second one of these and we might stagger these just so we've got some variety in the uh, one may look better than the other and we may want to put some extra bits and pieces in so that's say we'll version 2 so we'll export that one as well uh, so we're just going to do from 2 to 2 save it as a PNG keep the uh, transparency oh what am I doing hang on a sec I'm messing this up we want uh, want no fill there we go, that's better, sorry. Um, we don't need a keel later, let's go to, uh, all right, let's export these images. There we go. Okay, there we go, that's correct. So now we've got full transparent, we won't need a keel layer as soon as we import these overlay, uh, oops, let me say this correctly. Overlay version two, transparent. Save that correctly. So that will save both versions for us. Okay, we can now quit Keynote because we want to save as much of the uh, memory as possible of the computer. And we're going to open our video editor and today we will be using uh, Final Cut. Now I could do this project in iMovie, but um, I've got some little uh, text animations that I want to add on here. Now Keynote is actually another great program that you can create text animations and other sorts of uh, just very basic animations while you may think they're a slideshow, if you import it into your uh, your video editor, like iMovie or Final Cut, you can definitely get a uh, some pretty clever animated uh, uh, images and slides and uh, other effects. So Tyrone artwork, we want to go to version two, and we also want to import uh, his side of the video. So last night Tyrone uh, was uh, great. I was grateful to uh, get some of Tyrone's time to be able to get a uh, video call with him and uh, we there we go <laughs> and we discussed our um, some of his past projects we also spoke about some of our previous collaborations and what he's been working on and and some of the uh, funny things about being isolated and and I guess uh, we, we, I think I know we spoke about alternatives for toilet paper um, while we've been both fine and, and stocked up uh, baby, I was introduced to baby wipes. Now they're terrible for the environment, terrible for the toilet, but um, wow, baby wipes, who would have thought? Uh, so yes, <laughs> now we're gonna import uh, everything. So we're gonna start off with just a basic background. Let's uh, look at our generators. Do we have anything here that we can use? Uh, we're just looking for something that's maybe not too distracting. Uh, stars or, or this glimmer. I like this glimmer. That glimmer is the thing. There we go, okay. So we've got the glimmer there. And we're gonna to go to our objects and uh, let's import this offset one here. 
and so now we should have these overlaid there we go okay so um, we can drop the videos into the timeline and uh, fit them in so let's uh, size mine up there boom oh too small <laughs> now I've just realized the overlay oh actually I need to put this under the overlay there we go that's better okay so that it uh, it there we go so we'll put myself down the bottom here in the purple okay that's looking okay and then we just copy these dimensions oh now while the video frame doesn't seem to fit just yet what we're going to do is we're just going to get me centered oh there we go too much let's use the uh, keys on this now move that down a bit move it down a bit more and uh, yeah now we can trim it um, so you'll see the uh, left hand side is coming in a bit there let's just get that fine cut oh too much and now we'll get the right side in oh too much and we're going to tuck the top in a bit and there we go so now we have Pauly in place let's get Tyrone in place and we can copy the dimensions of the clip below oh let's just slide that in the timeline there okay oops so he's a bit big there so we shrunk me down to uh what did we shrink me down to 60 percent so we're going to shrink tyrone down to 60 percent um, and then move him into place and so once he's in place we'll then uh trim his clip down a little Okay, where is he right? Is he centered there? So we may need to actually move his... He wasn't fully in frame, but what we're going to do is... Can we shrink him a bit more? Yeah, we might need to shrink him a bit more. Just so he's in proportion. But otherwise, it may look like he has a big head, but he doesn't. <laughs> he's got a normal proportioned head. Um, okay, so we're going to trim this off now get those corners in there we go uh, get the left in as well and then uh, what we'll then do is we'll put in the titles the animated titles for the uh, sorry the animated uh, tags for our social media so we'll get that from our uh, little title section okay oh no one's watching me on Instagram that's all good okay where are these social media tag uh, title maker there we go okay so uh, I guess we'll be dropping that there okay oopsie daisy why is that um... there we go okay now it's working oh it's chugging a little okay so we're gonna put in this animated uh, thing there um, we're going to change the specs of it oops change the settings to Instagram I guess for uh, for Tyrone and uh, we'll duplicate that and do the same for me boom oopsie daisy didn't work let me try and copy that again there we go okay so now we should have two social media oh let's chug a little but uh, there we go, so we've got the basic, oh, move mine down there. So now we've got a basic overlay, uh, where we've got both Tyrone and myself. Oh, is he in frame? There we go, okay, so we've got the uh, the basic, uh, oh, sorry for covering that up, we've now got the basic overlay in there. So that's how we've gone from finding the assets for the overlay, the, uh, the borders, and uh, we've imported the video from Tyrone. We've added some animated titles. And uh, let's just... Oh. <laughs> Oi, I've, I've seen your lives, right? And
There we go. So that's a replay of the conversation and we spoke for, wow, 30 minutes. So hopefully I'll finish uploading that tonight. But there we go. You saw how I uh, went from looking at, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Went from uh, looking at the examples of, uh, of the overlays here in Google and then moving on to finding the artwork for them uh, and the assets in High Clip Art and then using Apple Keynote to create the overlay, importing the overlay and adding just a few extra effects like animations. And uh, that's of course now a lot more interesting than just two side-by-side -side videos, I hope. Um, so that discussion and video will be out soon. Oh, hello. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about anything we did today, let us know, comment below. Um, everyone else that I've got videos due to, they will be coming soon. Adam, Terrell, uh, Paul, Coach Morley, um, and there's a few others there. Matt uh, Mercer, I hope you enjoyed your videos. That was, I had a great time editing those. That was fun, thank you so much. And uh, everyone go check out Matt Mercer, go check out Tyrone, and of course, stay safe, stay awesome. Peace out, have a great night.